1-844-500-4242. That's the toll-free number of the Howie Car Show. This hour of the Howie Car Show is brought to you in part by Pianta Dosi Baking Company, celebrating 100 years of baking excellence since 1916. So there's a new report out in the Huffington Post. He apparently had some women uh, come up on his table and uh, when he was eating somewhere and uh, so that he could look up their skirts. So this is the story in the Huffington Post. It sounds like a strip club to me. Th- Has Bill Clinton never been to a strip club, do you think? Is that is that at all possible? Were these women underage, like uh, Senator Menendez is accused of uh, employing as his hookers in uh, in the Dominican? I, I'm just asking these questions. But This is the headline at HuffPo. Peeping Don looked up models' skirts. Did he point a gun at their heads? I mean, did he... Did, did uh, he force them to get up on the table? I, I don't know. Did he? I, I don't know the answer to this question. I, I assume this will be addressed in, in the, uh, the hard-hitting journalism from the Huffington Post. All right. Now, you know, the, uh, the WikiLeaks continue to come out, and there's, uh, there's new revelations every day. And uh, one of the ones we haven't talked much about is uh, a bunch of uh, WikiLeaks about some, uh, some, some documents from, uh, from the, uh, the State Department when uh, Hillary was the Secretary of State, and uh, she wanted to make sure, or her staff wanted to make sure, after the, remember the Haitian earthquake a few years back? It was terrible, terrible. As bad as uh, Hurricane Matthew is, the uh, earthquake in Haiti was much, much worse. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people killed. They were, the, uh, the world uh, community was rushing billions, literally billions of dollars to Haiti, and, uh, of course, the U.S. was leading the way. So Hillary's uh, State Department uh, wanted to make sure that the people that were cut in on the relief efforts were, as they put it, friends of Bill, F-O-Bs, friends of Bill. Or the, and the other way they were described as WJC, William Jefferson Clinton VIPs. So you have all these documents have now come out, these emails about how they want to get, uh, they, they want to get all of Clinton's donors and his buddies and the people who are paying him off uh, into the uh, Haitian relief efforts. So joining us now on the line is uh, Bernard Sansarik. He's the former president of the Haitian Senate. And uh, he's, uh, he's here to tell us uh, what was going on. Uh, uh, pre- uh, former President uh, Sansarik, uh, Sansarik, excuse me, thanks for being with us here on the Howie Carr Show. Thank you, sir, for inviting. It's a pleasure to be here and to inform the American people about the truth about Haiti. So what uh, what happened here exactly? What did what did the uh, Clintons do at the State Department and uh, Bill Clinton outside uh, roaming around trying to uh, grab every buck that he could off the table? What happened? Well, the story goes back to 1994, uh, September 19, 1994, when Bill Clinton invaded Haiti with 23,000 men using five billion dollars of U.S. taxpayers' money in an invasion that was completely unnecessary. Because uh, President Reagan, just a few years before that, just had a plane down and told Duvalier to get in the plane and get out of Haiti, and that was the way to do it. But anyway, Bill Clinton did not invade Haiti to restore democracy. He invaded Haiti so he could have control of every political uh, pawn that he, he put in power there. So in 2010, January 12, 2010, we had an earthquake in Haiti big earthquake that killed 315,000 people. 315,000 people were killed. And there was a, the United States organized a relief effort conjointly with the United Nations, you know, and who was put in charge of that relief effort was Bill Clinton. He was put in charge by President Obama and U.N. Secretary Ban Ki Moon, mm-hmm. because he's a, because Bill Clinton, Clinton is such a noted humanitarian, right? Yes, such a noted exactly, exactly. Uh, a man who in 1994 I was against the invasion. Let me give you a brief thing. Uh, I was against the invasion in August of 1994. He tried to bribe me. He told me that if I join him, he would make me the richest man in Haiti. So I told him I was not for sale. But briefly, okay, let's go back now to 2000. Money talks, BS walks, 14. Bernard. Come on. You should have taken him up on the offer. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, uh, but I'm not an FOB. <laughs> <laughs> I am not, definitely not an FOB because I know what those people have done in Haiti. They're criminals. Uh, so in 2010, 
$14.3 billion. Yeah. I'm talking about billions, not millions. $14.3 billion, okay, was actually came into the coffer of the Clinton Foundation. Then that money was given by American taxpayers and, of course, people from all over the world and also government from all over the world that wanted to help Haiti. And they thought that Bill Clinton was an honest man of, and a former president of the United States, honest man, and he would uh, direct the uh, relief effort. Well, sir, Bill Clinton gave contracts to all his buddies, okay? None of the contracts were actually at effective in Haiti. The Haitian people saw 2% of that money. That's about it. What they did with the money is uh, they uh, did built a sweatshop in the northern part of the country, very far away from the disaster area, okay? And uh, that's very close to a gold mine that by any form or shape should not belong to uh, the Clinton. I was, I was going to ask you about that gold mine. Didn't they give the gold mine contract to uh, Hillary's brother? Y- yes, exactly. The gold mine contract contrary to Haitian laws and Haitian constitution, went to Anthony Rodham, Hillary's brother. Yeah. Now, this is a gold mine that is worth $200 billion. This is one of the biggest gold mines in the Caribbean. A billion here, a billion there. Pretty soon you're talking real money here. But it's for the it's for the Clintons, Bernard uh, Sanserique. I it mean, is, these are good people. I mean, these are the these are the great, the, the future, the former and future leaders of our nation. Don't you understand? Come on. Yes, I do understand, and I'm afraid for America, because, you know, in 2006, I became a U.S. citizen. You know, Bill Bill Clinton, when I refused to take his money, when I refused to be his friend in 1994, revoked my visa. At that time, I was a resident alien. He revoked my visa by executive order. By executive order. So much for celebrating okay, diversity, a- huh? I mean, I, I thought we no. wanted to welcome everybody from south of the border, but apparently, if you don't, okay. if you don't want to play ball with them, uh, they, you know, the, you're you're going to be kicked down the stairs like you're a member of the Tea Party. Exactly. So I am, you know, you talking to someone who has lived this stuff, you know, who was a victim of the Bill Clinton. Because I didn't take his money. I, he didn't make me the richest man in Haiti. He took my visa away by executive order. But anyway, I am here now and I'm a U.S. citizen. But we have, those people, $14.3 billion came into the coffer. They did nothing with that but a sweatshop in the, for, in, in, in the northern part of Haiti, close to a gold mine owned by Anthony Rodham. This, these are the Clinton. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This yeah. is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want a contract in Haiti since 1994, the only person who will give you that contract is Bill Clinton. It's called pay for play. Uh, Bernard, we're talking to Bernard uh, Sansarik. He's the former president of the Haitian Senate. Do you do you sometimes uh, stand outside Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue with a sign? No. Uh, okay. No, but the Haitians do. A lot of Haitians that live in New York do. I know, because uh, I'm asking you that because uh, my my daughter my daughter last summer worked at the, the for the Trump organization and she took a picture of a Haitian standing outside with a sign. He was in a suit and he had it was a very nice sign. Thank you, uh, President, future President Trump, for uh, making uh, making the American people aware of what uh, what terrible uh, indignities have been visited on Haiti by the Clintons and. Uh, I, I, she tweeted that out of uh, my account, uh, Bernard, and uh, I got more I got more likes on that that one picture than I've gotten on anything ever before or after. Yes, this is this is unbelievable because every Haitian knows uh, what happened to Haiti and knows how much money the Clinton stole from Haiti. It's unbelievable, sir. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. That. Every year, the Clinton makes a lot of money from Haiti. They still make it, despite all the disaster. Now, we just had one a week ago. Matthew actually devastated the whole southern part of Haiti. There is over 1,000 people missing, killed uh, yeah. by, the, by the hurricane. And the, it's, it's the, the uh, amount of bodies are, is, is mounting. Nothing was done for the infrastructure of Haiti with 10 with $14.3 billion. 
absolutely nothing. Where is yeah. the money? No one knows. Are, no are they, one uh, has uh, asked. Bernard, there are a lot of there are a lot of Haitians uh, in uh, around the country, especially places like Florida. You know, uh, South Florida in particular. I mean, are, do, is yes. is is Trump getting out the word on the Haitian radio stations about, or do, does he need to? Does everybody understand what happened? Everybody understands what happened, okay. But traditionally, okay, every Haitian, uh, except perhaps for people like me, we are Republican. Ever since uh, Bill Clinton invaded Haiti, we've been leaning Republican. Now. What happened is that most Haitians right now, I would say 90% of them, will definitely not vote for, Bill, for, for Hillary Clinton. But they, they won't take the step to vote for, for Mr. Trump. They will thank him. Very few of them will. Very few of them will. But they understand the situation. It's, they're not dumb. They know exactly what happened. They know how much money the Clinton made on Haiti, mm-hmm. and they know that people are still living on the tents Nothing yeah. was done. port au was not rebuilt. The infrastructure is still the same. I mean, you go to Haiti, it's unbelievable, the poverty that you yeah, see Yeah, no, I've, there. Se- I've, seen the, I've seen the pictures on TV. We've got to hold you right there. Bernard uh, Sansarik, the former president of the Haitian Senate, uh, we appreciate that. I'm going to retweet that picture that uh, Charlotte took uh, this summer. It's, a, it's an amazing picture. Uh, the guy's in a suit, and he's... Uh, He's just, it's a great sign, and it's, it sums up everything that uh, Bernard has been talking about. Thanks for being with us, Bernard Sansarik, a former Haitian uh, Senate president. I'm Howie Carr. There's only one Howie Carr.